Hello everyone, today's lesson is Investigation 11, Scale Factor, Scale Drawings and Models. So if you're an architect or anyone who makes models, you, oft, you know you have to scale things down. If I want to make a model of an airplane, I'm not going to make a full-sized airplane. And if I want to draw a model of a house, I'm not going to make a full-sized house. Because I need to design it first. So we use what we call similar figures to help us figure out sizes for objects we want to make in real life. So here I've got two triangles that are similar and two rectangles. Now the difference between these is they have a scale factor. The scale factor tells me how much bigger or smaller one shape is than the other. And I can tell what that is by looking at the same side. So to get from 3 centimeters to 9 centimeters, or 5 to 15, or 4 to 12, I have to multiply those sides by 3. 3 times 3 is 9, 5 times 3 is 15, and 4 times 3 is 12. So the scale factor from going from small to big is 3. Now I can also go the other way, I can go from big to small. And if I go the other way, the scale factor would be one third, because it's going to be a fraction. Now for my rectangle, the scale factor to get from three to six, or from four to eight, will be to times by two. So the scale factor here is going from small to big is two, so I'm going to times by two. And going from big to small is one half. So I'm going to divide by two. We often see this with um, drawings. Okay, so here it says that one a half of an inch equals five feet, and we're going to say each of these little tick marks is a half of an inch. So this would be a half an inch. So that's a half an inch, one inch, one and a half, two inches. So the length of this whole living area is two inches. From my scale, I know that half of an inch is five feet. So a full inch is going to equal 10 feet. So the length of this room is going to be 20 feet. Okay, and if we look at the width, we have a half an inch, one and a half, I'm sorry, half an inch, one inch, one and a half inches. So we have one and a half inches for the width, which is going to be the 10 feet for the single inch, and then five more feet. So this is a total of 15 feet. Okay, so this is, this information here is telling me the, the scale. Okay. This problem says a scale model of a sports car is seven inches long. The car itself is 14 feet long. If the model is three inches wide, how wide is the actual car? And I want to first find out what the scale model, the scale of the model car is. Now the scale is going to be the dimension of the rendering, which is the smaller size, over the dimension of the object. So in this case, I know how long it is on the model and the car itself. So I'm going to take 7 over 14, which equals 1 half. So my scale is 1 half. Now to figure out how wide this car is, I know that it's 3 inches wide for the model. Okay, And there's kind of two ways I can do this. Since I'm going from the model, which is small, to the car, which is big, I'm going to take 3 inches and times it by 2. 3 times 2, and I'm going to get rid of the inches sign. 3 times 2 is 6. So the width of the car will be 6, the six feet. I can also show this in a diagram. Okay. I can have the model and the car, the actual car, length and width. So the length is 7 inches, the width is 3. On the real car, it's 14. 
So I can think, well, 7 times 2 is 14, so I need to multiply 3 times 2, which equals 6. So that's the other way you can find the missing dimension. Okay, and that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.